Hello, paid actor again. If you've been around VHF for some time, you probably know how few perks there are in this game, despite the weapon mod and mutation variety. I wanted to talk about the difference in monster and teen perk design, as well as suggest new perk ideas, and since I'm a certified teen main that barely even plays monster, I will give my own teen perk ideas for you. While the release of a new teen is highly debatable in the anomaly update, there is still a chance that we will receive new content in the nearest future most likely through limited edition movies, some of which were spoiled in the last VHS devlog. For anyone out of touch with the devs, in one of the past devlogs, Hellbent mentioned about so-called booster packs that would contain new perks, mods and mutations that we believe could be obtained by finishing those limited movies, some of which were revealed in latest devlog. However, this information is unconfirmed, as neither Two Feet Under the Tree nor Gribblies didn't have such content. So, whether or not we will get new perks, mods and mutations in the next update, I guess time will tell. I will make a video on the mid-chapter update once it comes out to clarify this theory though. But besides these booster packs and stuff, what do we really have in terms of perks? Monsters have perks that promote you for doing certain actions, by usually going out of quote-unquote efficient way of playing the game, if you know what I mean. Like, for example, Demoralize. This perk promotes you for going for an early down, while in the most case scenarios you would want to do a hit and run in the first few minutes of the game. And then we have both feasting perks that, funnily enough, promote you for camping while this is not a viable strat. But still the fact that you get some value from doing your camping things is something I would find silly actually. <laughs> then we also have info perks. For example, easy target that reveals the location of three nearest teens, the entirety of Dollmaster's perk set, and the anomalous nurse's calling. And like, I mean, what would you expect from nurse's calling? The only downside is probably teens will get notified that they are exposed, so they will stop healing immediately, but is that really a case? And then we also have a perk for item interactions, like gutter punch that makes the target lose their item upon hit. And yeah, it's really cool that monsters have a lot of perks that alter your playstyle in one way or another, despite having only 15 of them. As for teens, uh, things are really bad. Most of these perks are basic stat increasements, with some info perks, uh, but only evil eye of them being actually viable in the high level play, and the rest of them being just you know, for basic stuff, for newer people, actually, that don't know how to gather information from the HUD alone. And we also have three comeback perks, two of which being pay to win. So is there a way that we can fix this, this discrepancy? While there are some videos discussing custom perk ideas, check this one by the way, link in the description, I would like to come up with my own perk that will try to fix the, the current issue. Remember, they're just ideas, and if you say that I'm not a game designer, I'll leave a nerd emoji under a comment and say that this is all just for fun. So, without further ado, Caretaker. After you finish healing a team to the healthy state, they gain 4, 8, 12% bonus crafting speed for the next 12 seconds. While this buff seems insane on paper, I think this is actually quite fair for the duration it has. All things considered, this will help newer players a lot since they tend to heal before crafting weapons. So this will hopefully make them more efficient with their time while still providing a somewhat viable utility role in high level play and combined with some healing mods and perks, this will be even more efficient to use and manage health on the entire team with. Sponsors behind. Search a vending machine to activate. Reveal the location of a monster within 2, 8, 14 meters of the open vending machine to all teens. The perk is disabled after 30 seconds, only one vending ma machine at a time can be affected by this perk. I really wanted a unique auto reading perk that has something to do with vending machines, because I think these two can, when combined, they can actually do. While it does take time to set up and the duration of it is quite low when compared to 80 seconds of wiretap in DVD, I think that when made use out of this might be a really big difference. Craftsman, if you have a weapon in your hands. Teens that finish crafting within 12 meters of you get their weapon with 11, 22, 33% more ammo. 
I think the benefit is quite self-explanatory. More ammo means more room for error and more chances to stale out the game and to waste killer's time before you eventually go down. And it also promotes uh, you defending your teammates on stations, which also not uh, many newer people would do normally. One way exit. Vaulting a window will curse it, applying a special debuff and visual effect to it. Whenever a monster vaults a cursed window, the vault time is increased by 100% and the effect uh, from this window is removed. The cooldown of this perk is 240, 180 and 120 seconds. VHS doesn't really have any chase related perks, so I tried to implement something like this. And it also has something to do with windows, which uh, there is also no interactions to them. But as impactful as it sounds like, this will not be that way because of the design of windows, since they can be easily walked around. Unless, uh, of course, you're playing Eviscerator or Hotel. Lifeguard. You lose collision with the monster 3 and 5 seconds slower. If you take a hit within 12 meters of an injured teen, you will lose 10, 30, 50% less life from that hit. So for everyone doesn't know yet or thinks that the hitboxes in this game are completely junk, being within the kissing distance of a monster for longer than 1 second will force you to lose collision with them, and they can pass through you. So this actually makes you impossible to body block, but with this perk, you can actually stand in a tight hallway and take a hit for a team and still get some benefit from it. While there was a reason why Hellbent didn't want to do body blocks, I would think that having body block being a thing as a perk would actually be a somewhat viable solution to it. Power through. While injured, the speed at which you craft alone is increased by 2, 4, 6%. This effect is double if you are at critical life. While someone might say that this is literally resilience from DVD, I would say that they're correct, but all of Glorious perks are stolen from DVD, so I don't really care about this. And it actually promotes you doing what your team needs to do instead of searching trash cans or touching yourself with a mad kid without proper self defense. You know what I'm saying? And even though I pointed out that I don't really like the idea of majority of perks being stat increasements, resistant. Get affected by disruption and covering for 10, 20, 30% shorter. Not only do I think that Robo is 8, I also find myself frustrated from a Scream Fest 3 because of someone else gets hit near me. Now I take a free hit and therefore get punished for someone else using a perk and my team's bad performance. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I don't really like being disrupted for longer than 5 seconds. And I think I'll stop for now. So if you have any perk ideas on your own, leave a comment, also leave a like if you just like playing against the werewolf, and I will see you soon.